Okay, uh, we're going to be adding in a uh, property today, and we're going to get started on that. Uh, once you're logged into the propot.com uh, website, uh, just click on the My Properties icon, and this will bring you to the My Properties page. And the My Properties page allows you to uh, very easily search through all the properties that you've listed with us um, at um, within uh, pretty fast. Of course, uh, right now, this account only has one account uh, with this, uh, but it allows you to uh, bring up lots of um, information relatively quickly. You'll see that, uh, of course, we only have one property searched through, but this uh, this uh, speed of the search was fairly fast. And when you're, mon uh, when you're uh, maintaining lots of properties, it really helps you to get through the properties really fast. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add in a uh, a property uh, right now. Uh, let's go ahead and click add a property. We're going to do a residential for sale, and you'll see the different property types uh, that we have here. Um, generally, single family home detached is um, what's known, you know, with the single family home. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and type in 123 Main Street. Okay. And we're going to choose Georgia. And we're going to pick some random city. Okay. One thing you'll notice when you're adding in a property that we do have a very minimal amount of required fields. Uh, but we have plenty of fields that are uh, not required. But one thing that we do is when you list a property with PropBot.com, we do give extra credit to some of these extra fields in here. So obviously, um, right now, we're going to just do the required fields, but we want to add in a um, more information uh, at a later time if we want to come uh, come back. Obviously, the uh, the ranking of the property would be a lot better uh, once we do that. So we're going to uh, list this at that amount. Um, and if you're a realtor um, or a property manager, uh, you might want to use this. This is a, a neat little way for you to keep track of all the properties that you have and what kind uh, they're in. Um, owner financing details is if you're financing the property. And we're going to just uh, do some tips and tricks on how to get a really good property listing. Um, we're going to just go ahead and type that in, put that in there. And we're going to go ahead and add in the floor plan. Okay, the difference between adding in the exterior and adding in the interior is every property has an outside and an inside. We went ahead and we already did the uh, outside. Now we're going to be doing the inside. Okay, we're going to be putting in um, ceramic tiles. Um, Great hardwood floors, uh, just uh, just different things that you think people would be uh, interested in uh, seeing. New carpet, okay, and of course uh, this is where we can put in all the interior features that uh, this property has. Um, and one of the uh, um, one thing just like the outside you want to go in through the interior and make sure that you're adding in uh, all these different things um, so people can uh, take a look at it okay alright we're gonna click on save and exit and uh, just at the uh, specific time we just added in a property uh, and this is where we can actually purchase uh, a featured listing uh, or if you wanted to uh, add in a sign or uh, purchase a sign or something like that um, this is where you can do that at and we're gonna get right at the right now we're just gonna use a free listing service and we're back at the main page and we'll learn how to use some of these I other icons uh, in a following tutorial thanks again and thanks for watching